Assalam o Alaikum friends welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we will discuss the topic properties of language we also made detailed videos on what is language and functions of language if you didn't watch those videos click the links in the description box so let's start today's video so what does properties of language mean properties of language mean distinct to characteristics of a language There are six properties of language which was given by a famous linguist George Yule and these properties include displacement arbitrariness productivity culture transmission discreteness and duality let's understand all of them one by one The first property of language is arbitrariness arbitrariness refers that there is no natural connection between a word and its meaning yani ki ek object aur uski meaning ka aapas mein koi bhi relationship nahi hai different languages have different names for a same thing or item for example we have an object that is a book so book is an english word lekin isi book ko hum urdu language mein kitab kehte hain aur arabic language mein kutub kehte hain so there is no natural connection between a word and its meaning and this property of language is called arbitrariness the second property is productivity productive means creative because human beings are always creating new expressions and utterances by manipulating their language ability for example english language has 26 alphabets but out of these 26 alphabets human beings are able to make unlimited words and expressions so this property of language in human beings is called productivity productivity is also known as creativity on the other hand if we talk about animals so their communication is very limited and language is not as productive as human beings the third property of language is displacement displacement refers to things and objects which are not present in the immediate environment displacement ki wajah se hum abstract cheezon ke bare mein bhi baat kar sakte hain for example human beings are able to talk about abstract objects like fairy hell heaven and emotions like honesty bravery and dishonesty the property of displacement also enables a speaker to talk about past present and future using language moreover animals lack the property of displacement because animals are not able to talk about abstract things or talk about their future or past so animals don't have this property the fourth property is cultural transmission and this is the key property of human language because humans learning of language is the outcome of social interaction human beings hamesha wo language seekhte hain jis society mein wo rehte hain for example a speaker may speak english urdu hindi or any other language of the society in which he lives because human learning of language is the outcome of social interactions moreover we can transfer our cultural knowledge through language the fifth property of language is duality so what is duality duality in human language means humans have limited discrete sounds or phonemes but these sounds can be combined in different ways to create an infinite number of words expressions and utterances for example in english language we have discrete letters such as n b and i but when these discrete letters combine together they give us as different words like nib ben and many more so this property of human language is called duality duality is also known as double articulation the sixth property is discreteness discreteness refers to the uniqueness of sound in a language har language mein bahut sare sounds hote hain और ये सारे साउंड्स एक दूसरे से डिफरेंट होते हैं विन दीज साउंड कम्बाइंड दे क्रिएट नंबर्स ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन 
which are different from one another. For example, we have English words like gold and gold. यहाँ पर just x sound का difference है, लेकिन ये difference words की meaning को completely change करती है. So this property of human language is called discreteness. We also made separate videos on the properties of language. If you want to watch those videos, click the links in the description box. So this was all about today's lecture. I hope this video is helpful for you. And thank you for watching this video.